few things to talk about tonight and some yummy food, homemade food. Um, I have uh, uh, not birthdays per se because they're upcoming, or most of them are, but I um, uh, just wanted to uh, mention a couple of people who uh, uh, who will be celebrating very shortly, and also. Um,
is from Montana. Hey. And um, this is not from her, but this is from Kalispell, Montana. They must grow huckleberries there. And I love huckleberry jam. So I bought this at the store. Um, not in Montana here. But um, huckleberry jam. I'm gonna, I think I'm going to make some um, biscuits. Scott. Um, that, that sounds like a celebrity name, so I hope you become a celebrity someday, if you want to be. Um, a new French um, visitor. Um, I'm not sure if she's a subscriber. Um, Isaline Sheridan. Um, and um, I believe it's a she. She wrote a very nice comment. And um, Bonsoir. Seems kind of dark. Ah. Mm. <laughs> mm. Spicy. Mm-hmm. <laughs> mm. Wow, 
hot spicy. I want to cough. Um, go to a soft voice for a minute. would always put me up against a, a against a door frame or against a wall and they'd take a pencil they'd mark I'd stand against the wall they'd mark how tall I was in pencil on the wall a little line and put the date on it and so after months and years especially when you're younger and you're in, the, in that growing spurt you could see your your progression of your height and ostensibly your your growth um, as as a young person and um, so I don't know if you've ever experienced anything like that I don't know if they do that in um, other countries and other cultures but um, I think it was fairly standard at least when I was growing up these days um, I don't know I don't have any kids um, but it got me to thinking about how we had something back then to measure our physical growth against a constant the constant being the the you know the wall or the um, or the door frame you know the wall is always the same height it's always there the door frame is always there at least until you move and um, but that's an exterior constant in, against which we measured our exterior growth and it got me to thinking about 
our interior growth, our, our growth on the inside, and I don't mean our organs, of course, I mean our growth um, internally, uh, whether you consider that emotional growth or intellectual growth or spiritual growth, um, in, in, I guess in a holistic sense, but that which comes from the inside outward, not from the outside inward. And um, if we indeed um, grow um, on the inside, what is that wall? What is that interior wall, that interior constant against, against which we measure our, our development? Um, is it the same for everybody? Um, is it different? Um, when I was growing up also, um, my parents, for whatever reason, um, they never used a marker or a, a pen. They always used a, um, a pencil as if it was going to be erased someday. But um, I, I never saw it erased, at least while we lived in, in, in those places. Um, so what marks your interior growth? Are you using an interior pencil, a, 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 a marker? and a Sharpie, an indelible marker. Um, also, it, it, it begs the question, you know, um, those places where we lived where our height was measured, um, do any of those remain? Do any of those um, marks stay? Um, probably people paint over it or knock the wall down or whatever, but um, uh, I think it's nice to sort of have uh, a... Um, an artifact of, of someone's life and their life stages as they grew. And um, if that is in fact so, that somewhere in the world our height is still being viewed and measured um, and pondered upon by someone, um, how much more so um, on, the, on the inside? And of course, um, that's a little harder for other people to see on the inside. Um, that is, unless we, um, unless we bring them into our lives and share a bit of our, ourselves, and um, not just bring them into us, but bring what's in, in us out to them. So um, I guess that's what I was thinking about on a Friday. Um, you know, what interior wall do we mark our interior, interior growth against, and is it a constant? Um, is anything constant? I don't know. Um, I, I, that's what I thought about today. To the food. <laughs> mm -hmm. mm. It's so crunchy. I hope you can hear that. that's in there. Sometimes I soak it in, in a little lemon water.
Mm -hmm. I didn't know I was this hungry. This feels like victory. Well, I could not. I could just leave this and not finish it.